Good evening, everyone. So, recently I got this beastie. It's uh, an Alesis hi-hat pedal. And it's just a simple on-off switch. This here hits a little something in there. And I had hoped to use this, because I got two of them, I had hoped to use one for hi-hat and one as a kick pedal or a kick drum trigger. And of course, no dice. First of all, the kick drum uses a quarter inch plug and this is a eighth inch, like a headphone plug. So, stamina, no good. So, no problem. What do you do when you're a mad scientist? You buy a bunch of piezo transducers with the jack already on them. I paid uh, 20 bucks, 22 bucks for eight of these. And so essentially, you would plug the uh, cable for your kick drum, or any other drum for that matter, of your drum module into this, and then put a piece of rubber over this or whatever. But pretty much any hit on this will trigger it. And the harder it hits, the louder it will be, and the higher the velocity that the drum module will send for the sound. So if you just tap it, it'll be very light noise that, uh, or light drum sound it'll make. And a what real good whack will set you off loud, like if you're playing a heavy metal song. So anyway, I was like thinking, oh, maybe I can put something here coming out and mount it here on the top but it's kind of I mean it'll fit barely but <coughs> pardon me I think it would snap it so I got the bright idea to go in here <coughs> pardon me so we're gonna just essentially put it in there but since this is hard plastic and in here is hard plastic, this is probably going to get squished really quick. So, got the bright idea to put a wooden block and put the trigger on top of that. Then realized, wait, that's not going to work either. It's, the wooden block is still pretty hard. So... Obvious, and by the way, this is the, the one that I'm going to use as a hi-hat. I'm not going to attach anything to this in this video. I'm just explaining how it's going to work because right now I have the real one in the other room with uh, some glue that's curing to hold the rubber block in place. I mean, you could even take some little slices of rubber and depending on how far let's see how far back you put this because it, it really doesn't need to to whack this very hard because your foot gives a lot of pressure when it's doing this so and because this is pre-wired with the proper quarter inch input this oh and this has also got double sided tape so I can stick it right on the side here or maybe on the other side and if I ever want to change this back to a hi-hat it's easy enough so figure need a little bit more than this I'd say just to give it some cushion I actually used you know the little pen pencil erasers you get they're uh, parallelograms they're pink I cut the two ends off that and I'm gluing that to the surface around here 
because you know they're they're a fair amount they're maybe a half an inch thick so right behind where the spring is is where I glued it and then once that glue is cured and unfortunately I didn't have any barge cement on hand so I'm just using Elmer's glue which I'm pretty confident isn't gonna last I'm pretty sure that's gonna break off after a couple of a couple of treadle pops of the bass drum so it's just a proof of concept so if you're interested in doing this I mean these things are cheap I mean you could buy piezo triggers for a quarter a piece but by the time you get the wire and the jack and then solder it yourself you probably add about a buck and a half to two bucks a piece this one was less than three bucks in bulk I got eight of them I think it was worth it to not have to solder and all that the extra few cents your mileage may vary so as I say I'm gonna attach the jack on the side with this and by the way this is velcro here this is just a piece of velcro and it's got some double-sided tape on one one edge to keep it in place and it should work pretty good attach this to the side of the pedal or maybe even to the front here which may be actually the right the way to do it across here and use it for as long as it works uh, why did I get this one instead of a real beaterless kick drum pedal well the ones from Roland are $229, if I'm not mistaken. The KD-10, I think it's called. That's insane. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm not a drummer. I'm just doing this so when I'm playing on my pads, I can use my feet to do the kick drum and the hi-hat. And I may try to learn to play the drums a little bit. But... All in all, it's just a really, it's just an experiment. So again, simple piezo electronic transducer is the trigger with a quarter inch jack on the other end. Uh, one thing I have to say, the Alesis module I have has one of those snakes that it's all one wire and, or it's a bunch of spaghetti. It's got a... Uh, like an RS-232 jack on one end and then a bunch of wires coming out for each drum and cymbal and hi-hat etc kind of don't like that but it was cheap so and even the sounds are on it not that great but it has MIDI in and out which means that I can send it to a door or to my iPad and control drum sounds in those which some of them sound really good so it should be a fun experiment uh, I'll probably do another video once this is completed uh, I'm pretty sure I what the weather here right now is atrocious it's it was four degrees this morning I was not a happy camper so I'm not running to the local hardware store to buy a thing of <clears throat> pardon me of two-part epoxy to epoxy that down which should last a fair amount of time and then when it breaks off epoxy it back on again really not a big dilemma so if you found this illuminating remember Alesis I think it's called the DM hat and it's a simple on off switch because unfortunately uh, some of the modules for drums only recognize open and closed the better ones will have varying degrees they have like a variable sensor in it which probably is as simple as maybe having a plunger in here that's got teeth on it and a uh, potentiometer inside here with uh, a gear of some sort and as they mesh together it changes the locate the rotation of that potentiometer 
to uh, more or less and a potentiometer is variable resistance and so that's where it's going to get the uh, where it is on the throw of the hi-hat and hi-hats don't move a tremendous amount I mean maybe three-eighths of an inch so it's not uh, super duper complicated I could probably do that but that's a lot more work than simply putting this little piezo trigger on here so if you enjoyed this please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber uh, probably a week or so we'll have the video with the thing working with this pedal working as a bass drum and I'll probably have the other one or actually this one going with the hi-hat and the other one that I have the rubber mat placed on instead of these rubber mats in fact I may actually glue one of these over this to give this a little protection as well if it needs it I'm gonna try it without this little piece of uh, rubber and see how it goes because again it if it breaks it's not the end of the world this whole thing was three bucks and by the way please subscribe by the way why did I get this one ten bucks the uh, real kick drum pedals well over 200 so hopefully hopefully wow rented teeth hopefully you found some information that is useful here and if you did please subscribe thumbs up have a great day bye for now from the mad mohawk Gwei Gwei Karu, that's me. Check us out on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Play Music, Deezer, Tidal, etc., etc., etc. We're there. Med Mohawk Films Music, or look for Gwei Gwei Karu, which is K W E K W E space K A R U. And uh, have a great day. Bye for now. Onagi Wahi.